Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So we are at the last story of the season, I believe, and it's a longer one. It's six parts, so this is going to be over three reactions and that either means that, you know, it's, it's really great and there's a lot of story to tell or there might be some filler, some escaping a cell and then getting back into the cell, you know, one of my favorite classic Who tropes. Uh, but uh, I'm really, really excited to get into it. Let's go. Mr. Chang, wonderful. Words fail me, sir. Words quite fail me. Oh, no. Have I ever? Oral master is kind to bestow praise. Oh on my. Emma Chang's. Your Emma? She came in here last night. I saw her oh, like a tail. I'm not going to see the sixth. I'm asking you, mister, what's happened to her? She's done something to a reason I shouldn't wind up. And she was here last night. Not to see me. Man who goes too quickly may step in bear trap. I'm getting a penis. Why is everybody acting like this man is absolutely crazy when his wife is missing? These clothes are ridiculous. <laughs> Look at your outfit. You can't go walking around Victoria and London. I don't know about that hat. Anyway. Everybody has their own tastes. We don't want to Woo! Be Doctors look like Sherlock Holmes, though. Mr. Jacob, I've seen this. I've seen this again. Be quiet. I told you before. I ain't never going down that cellar again. Till I was. Fixing the trap when this apparition rose out of the ground in front of me. It is was. It is. Uh, that's enough. I'll come down with you this evening, as soon as the house is clear, and we'll have a good look round. Now, how's that? It was no cat, Mr. Jago. The man whose wife is missing, they're like, he's just being dramatic. This man seeing something. So, whoa! Can I help you? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh! Leela! Let's go! You know she can throw down! There she goes. Ah, get it, girl! Touch me and I'll break your arm! Oh, girl! You backed up to blue gods! Asleep! She not asleep, Mr. Sin. She is smoking type of pate. Is this lady gonna go? Oh, she's a little wobbly. She's a little. She's. Okay. Is she gonna go missing too? Is that is that the thing? Woo! I am a warrior at the Sever Team. I know the different sounds of death. Now put our prisoner to the torture. Oh! Don't take the biscuit. Torture, eh? That come from the river. Look! Did it just go? Oh, the hook! Oh, no. Good of you to come so prompter. Not at all, Sergeant. I'm always happy to be of service to the police. <sighs> what can I do for you this time? Don't I know you? I think not. Yes. I've seen you somewhere before. I understand we all look the same. Are you Chinese? Yes, that's it. We must have... No. I haven't been in China well, for 400 years. I'm afraid the actor is... Are you it? taking this matter seriously, Sergeant? We... Can I have paper and pencil, please, Sergeant? Certainly, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> I think it... Got it! Lee Sen Chang. Show us a trick. <laughs> Wow. Well, he has a lot of power over. I, oh, oof. I think he's dead. Jeez. Sir. I'm sure we shall meet again. Oh, no, don't say that. Yes. Perhaps under more pleasant circumstances. Oh, uh, no. No? No, thank you. Eight victim? There are eight of them? I'm in front. I hope those girls go straight home to their digs. Ah, oh, that they will, sir. With all this in the papers. Nine them is to know, you know. Nine? There was some fellow in here earlier blaming Chang, of all people, for some girl's disappearance. Mostly in this area, too. Okay. What do you think's happened to them, Mr. Jacob? Nothing good, Casey. Nothing good. 
I was gonna say if all like nine missing women were all volunteers of, of the show. <laughs> I was like, that's damning evidence, people. <laughs> but he said that they kind of disappeared like off the street, like randomly, I think. So. Oh boy. I don't know if you wanna die. That was right. It was blood, blood. Thank you. Uh, who the devil are you? Sir? <laughs> I'm a doctor. Come to help you. Chisel like in sizes, a rodent? Yes, but oh. it's impossible with the size of them. Hmm. All this happened after death. Really? He was killed by a knife blade to the heart. I assume the was rodent is what's down this there. Is a licensed pen the not cat. The I think they're rat hairs. Rat hairs? <gasps> Is it a saying? giant rat? Yes, I know what I'm saying. Because I've just remembered something else about Wang Chiang. What? He was the god of abundance. He made things grow. Can I borrow that? Oh, there's a big rat. Where are we going? Maybe various big rats? Nope. Maybe just one. <laughs> oh! Not the... <laughs> Jeez! Wow. What? Oh, Layla! James Thorpe? Yes, I thought I told you not he to carry- He was carry... trying to kill you. Oh my goodness. Oh, well in that case, you better come along. Jeez, <laughs> she is just out, okay. She is ready at all times and I kind of live for it. No, we're not going into the sewers. Into the Thames eventually. I would absolutely no. No. There's gonna be a big rat. There's okay. There's, that'll look normal. Hmm. They're not. Yeah, unless they're giant. <laughs> Oh, stop. Can we believe this guy? He seems scared. He just. Oh. Casey, you're a pixelated leprechaun. Course of the River Fleet. What you heard was a clang. Glove, is it? It's a lady's glove. Monogrammed EB. That's the ghost drop today. Emma! Emma, the guy that was looking for his wife. No plan of a sewer. Emma? Emma? Keep plans of sewers here, sir. Emma? As far as Emma. I know, they all connect to the fleet and then down to the river. Right? Uh, be so kind as to step up to my dressing room, and I will explain. Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that's going to go off. Well. Hey, You've used the terms of our contract to... Now, hear me, Jacob. You remember the cab driver, Bullard, who came to see me tonight? Oh, boy. Cab driver, yes? You did not see him. I did not see him. Good. Oh no, that looks like it's gonna be cramped. Claustrophobic. Look at that tiny ladder. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind, it's quite spacious down there. <laughs> I must, every night, until the time come and it is found. <coughs> you are ill. I am dying, Chang. I have given you mental powers undreamt of in this century. You were thousands of years ahead of your time! And a poor perisher who was chewed by a giant rat and been stabbed by a midget. A midget? And of the wound upon my soul. I'm sure we shouldn't be discussing such things in front of the fair sex. Forgive us, ma'am. Oh, here we go. So, until the present. It's very interesting. You say you can tell the height of the attacker by the way the blade was thrust. Mm -hmm. But when aiming for the heart, we were always taught to strike under the breastbone. So, savage, found floating down the Amazon in a hat box. What's up? 
They use fireworks to frighten off evil spirits. I knew that. Where are you going? Where are you going? He never like, it just it just explains a little bit where he's going. Just a little bit would be helpful. How long since you were under the influence, sir? I'm a man of character and determination, sir. The Rock of Gibraltar would be more easily. More easily. Just as I thought. And quite recently, too. Huh. I command you to remember everything you were ordered to forget. More easily influenced than I would, I have a will of iron. What the dickens am I talking about? Did a cab driver come here tonight? Yes, there was a fellow burst in and accosted Mr. Chang between shows. So not by any chance suggesting that Mr. Chang has anything to do with these mis... What was it? Emma Buller. There we go. Tomorrow, I bring you two dollars. Young, plump, high-spirited girls. The distillation of their life essences uh. will recover your powers, Lord. Oh. Oh. Does it have to be women, or does he prefer... I was like, reassuring Casey. Who? I don't want to answer to that. He's Let's see what we have here. Mrs. Hudson always leaves me a cold collation. Oh, yeah. that is a... Roast beef, chicken. That's yeah. a lot of food being prepared for, like... Well, unless I'm much mistaken. One person, but... Yes, well, oh, there we go. Would you care for a knife or a fork? It's a good knife. Aren't you going to eat? Yes, yes. Ah! <laughs> Cheers. There we go. Wow. Oh my God, all of these. What the fuck is that? What the- I can't even tell what that is. Do you know what this is? Well. Oh, what is that? Well. She's eating it. There's somebody out there watching the house. So I'm step back into the shrubbery as I looked out. Some scoundrel up to no good. Oh, not a scoundrel. I always thought there was something unnatural about that cellar. There's nothing unnatural about the holograph technique. I couldn't even tell what it was supposed to be, you know what I mean? about my assumption is his house has the the cabinet that we, we want because he he there oh I'm sorry are we supposed to think that she I feel like she can handle this moving very slowly with that knife, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. All right. Okay, so I am going to start these post-episode thoughts with, um, you know, kind of things that I liked about the story and other aspects about this story, uh, and then I'm going to talk about what I believe the comment section will be ablaze with. Um, this is not my first rodeo, so I already know what's coming. Uh, but, um, Okay, things that I kind of liked about uh, at least the first two parts of this story. I liked the vibe. I liked the mystery vibe. I liked that the doctor walked out basically looking like Sherlock Holmes. It's it's a, a mystery. I loved the setting. I loved the setting in a in a theater. 
the the sequence with the the doctor on the on the ropes and that whole action sequence of you know hanging from the curtain and, and like all of that stuff I, I found to be really interesting kind of backstage with all these props and all of these different things I like the setting um, it's all very like dark you know I like the um, the the vibe that's you know um, there was reference to like Jack the Ripper and there's these, you know, um, vanishing women and, and, and all of that. And what is actually really interesting is a lot of classic Who stories have mystery. Sometimes they're easy to figure out, sometimes they're not. But the, sh the show itself doesn't really present too much information about the mysteries until later or whatever. We pretty much know what's up. Okay, we do not know the exact logistics of what happens to these women, like step by step or anything like that. But we kind of know who the culprits are. We kind of heard sort of what, like, why, I guess. Ooh. Um, and, like, so it's interesting that we're sort of privy to a lot going on because they're showing the other side of things, not just through the perspective of the Doctor and Leela. But we're also seeing the Doctor try to figure it out, um, Leela try to figure it out, and just put all of the pieces together. And it's more so like, I feel like the, the Doctor has his suspicions, but he needs he needs the hard evidence. It's very detective-y, and I, I, I like that aspect of it. I also really like the Doctor um, and Leela specifically, um, you know, uh, throughout this. I like that Leela is trying to experience new things and learn new things, um, but she's also still her, like, you know, badass self, and I really like watching that dynamic between the two. Um, some interesting, uh, you know, I, I like, uh, he, I don't know if he's, he's dead or if he, I don't know what happened to him, but Professor Lightfoot was kind of, kind of, uh, nice, uh, fun character, possibly, and him and Leela together could be kind of interesting. Um, and I love that they're showing that, you know, she can really handle herself in, in a fight. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very, very excited to maybe just see her kind of going forward in maybe a, a situation, um, that is super unfamiliar to her and, and how she excels at, at, as a companion within that. Um, so I like that aspect of it as well. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this, obviously what I'm about to talk about is a sensitive topic and this is sort of kind of off the cuff sort of how I feel about it. So if things are not said completely, you know, um, the way they should be or whatever, I uh, just try to give me some leeway. However, um, I'm not gonna just, I guess, ignore it. Uh, so as um, some of you guys noticed, there is an individual in the story, which is a, a white actor <coughs> playing a, a Chinese, man uh, with uh, Asian or, or Chinese makeup on, or what I believe some would deem to be yellow face. Um, and obviously when I first saw that, I'm sure you could see in the reaction, you know, my first reaction is uncomfortable. <laughs> I was just uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, in my time as a reactor, I have watched a lot of things made, let's just say like back in the day. Okay. Because of this, and Doctor Who is not always the culprit, though it's had its moments, sure, right? Um, but uh, because of this, I have the unfortunate time randomly uh, watching race portrayed in such a manner. Okay, so... As a white woman, uh, I don't know what it's like for my race to, um, one, lack representation in, in certain media or, or um, two, I, I also don't know what it's like to ha see somebody uh, of another race put on makeup, have an accent, 
and kind of emulate whatever representation of this race that they they have or the director has or or, or whatnot, so on and so forth. Um, you know, I don't know what that's like, okay? At all. Um, I can, however, have sympathy when I see race portrayed in such a way. Um, so, throughout my time reacting, and I, honestly it's happened more on Patreon than it has kind of on my actual channel, you know, I have seen things that were made way back when or whatever, uh, you know, either portray race in some type of way like this, or gender in um, some type of way like this. Typically how I handle it is I, I acknowledge it, I talk about it, I don't pretend that it's not there, I don't ignore it. I do also, as I did at the beginning of these post-episode thoughts, I talk about, you know, um, uh, other aspects, of the other parts of the, the story and, and all of that. Um, <laughs> You know, that is my job and why a lot of you are here watching those videos, so, you know. Um, okay, so, um, I, I don't know what it's like to see my race portrayed in, in such a way. Um, for kind of explanation's sake of what I'm about to kind of talk about, um, I do know what it's like through older James Bond films, or uh, the Star Trek original series um, reactions and, and stuff like that. I do know what it's like to have my gender portrayed in a kind of stereotypical or unflattering way. Um, and uh, it, it's, you know, it's obviously not fun to watch and it's like super uncomfortable. It kind of takes you out of the immersiveness of, of the, the show that or movie or whatever you're trying to watch. Um, but for, for argument's sake, uh, I'm going to talk about that, uh, which is not entirely the same thing, but along the same lines. A lot of times when um, I acknowledge that there is sexism in something that I'm watching or racism or something like that, um, a lot of times there's a lot of comments that are, you know, you have to, how do they say it? They say like, you have to realize this was, this was made uh, at another time or um, you have to just accept the fact that this was made at another time or whatever. I think the people who say those types of comments, there are two sort of intents or meanings behind of it. Actually, there's probably various. I'm not going to try to, you know, guess what everybody's intent is. However, um, I think some people, when they say that, they say they say it in the sense of like, you have to, re you know, um, that's how this got made. It's not okay. I don't, you know, endorse it, but it's just sometimes it is what it is. And, you know, that's, that's how things got made. I genuinely don't know how, um, things like this, uh, or, um, you know, any sort of, uh, yellow face or black face or anything like that was received at the time that it was used uh, because I don't, I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't alive, I'm pretty sure, when, <laughs> I'm pretty positive I wasn't alive, like, when this story aired. So, you know, maybe, maybe people had an issue with it, maybe they didn't. That is more uh, questions for people who were around then or who witnessed it. Um, but there's also the people who say, uh, you know, you have to, you have to realize that it was made in a different time and, or whatever, right? That are kind of saying it as like, you just need to ignore that part. Um, don't be uncomfortable with it. Just try to com compartmentalize it and just take it away or whatever. And I just, my response to that, um, I don't have to do that. You know, I understand, especially when there is something 
that people are fans of and that they are defensive of and they are really have a lot of love for very beloved TV shows and, and things like that, that, you know, um, that is how they watch it to, to get through stuff and enjoy it. Um, and, and just because that is how you have chosen to watch a certain thing, uh, that doesn't mean that that's what I should do. You know, um, when I think about my favorite episodes of Star Trek, the original series that I have reacted to and, and watched and everything like that, I'm not going back to rewatch the ones that made, like, made me feel highly uncomfortable by the way that they portrayed, you know, women. I'm not, you know, d despite whatever the rest of the episode was, I'm not really going back and being like, you know what I want to watch? I want to watch that one. You know what I mean? So um, I just wanted to say that because I get a lot of that. Um, I get a lot of, um, whenever I voice my opinions on this stuff, I get a lot of talking at me, you know, well, you have to do this or whatever. And, and I, respectfully, I disagree. I don't have to. To do that okay that's all I want to say about that um, it can be exhausting when stuff like this comes up because it's just such a heated topic and a lot of people um, you know uh, it's just it just gets heated we know this right guys you know I mean it's very unfortunate and um, this certainly is not the first time that I'm gonna talk about this and it's not the last and I, I'm not gonna pretend that it's not there um, but I, I hope you guys pretty much know what I'm, what I'm talking about and what I'm saying and, you know, um, I guess that's, I guess that's mostly what I wanted to say in regards to that. Like it, there is always the, you know, watching this story, I'm going to be uncomfortable with certain scenes because of that. Um, and if you think that that's me, you know, uh, virtue signaling or whatever, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't really know what to say to that. I'm just being really honest. Um, this is about my reaction and my response. And that's my reaction and, and my response. So, okay. I think that's kind of what I wanted to say. I hope that it was said. I hope I said what I intended to, to say on the matter um, and got my uh, kind of viewpoints across in, in such a way. Anyway, um, but don't worry, guys. The people are going to be really aggressive towards me. <laughs> this is so rude. The people are going to be really aggressive towards me for even speaking on it. The really angry ones. Don't worry. They have a friend. They have a friend that was, um, that is the, uh, gender or race or sexuality of what was being represented in, in such an unflattering way. And, um, their friend, they weren't offended. And I don't know if you know this, but their friend is the spokesperson for everybody of that gender, race, or sexuality. So don't worry. Don't worry. They have a friend. They have a friend. That's so rude. Oh, I might cut that. <laughs> I get that all the time. Alrighty, I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I, my Star Trek, hi, Star Trek uh, subscribers on Patreon, hi, how are you guys doing? They are laughing their asses off because they're like, we already know, we already know, <laughs> we've already been here. All right, anyway, um, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it, but if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.